As we all know, Boeing is facing a little bit of issues, a few issues because of the fact that two of their planes crashed. And so Donald Trump has some advice for them over at Boeing. He says on Twitter, quote, what do I know about branding? Maybe nothing, but I did become president. But if I were Boeing, I would fix the Boeing 737 MAX, add some additional great features and rebrand the plane with a new name. No product has suffered like this one, but again, what the hell do I know? Well, couldn't agree more. Yeah, you don't know much and we have some examples for you. So Trump actually had a his own airline company. We've talked about it a little bit. He launched it back in 1989. And it was known as the Trump Shuttle Airline Company. It went bankrupt three years later. And here's- Boy, that's odd. I'll give you, I'll give you specific <laughs> reasons why. But before I do, it didn't go bankrupt. He ended up having to sell it to a different company because it was about to go bankrupt. But with that said, I wanna show you this fun video of what happened three months after he launched this airline company? I love competing against Pan Am. If you've got to compete, I mean, if you've got to compete, Pan Am is the one you want to compete against. Everyone says, oh, don't even ever mention safety. I want to mention safety. To me, it's very important. The safety is number one priority. There is an unwritten rule in the airline business. You never attack another carrier's maintenance and safety. Mr. Trump attacked Pan Am's maintenance. And that's just something you don't do. Trump suggested that Pan Am's financial struggles might jeopardize the airline's safety, and his remarks soon came back to bite him. A Trump shuttle flight made an emergency landing in Boston when the plane's front landing gear malfunctioned. So that's just, not good. You just knew it was gonna happen. Yeah. Like, I didn't know about that section of history. But you just knew as soon as this guy went after people's maintenance issues, as soon as he talked the walk, he would fail to walk the walk. And uh, sometimes the landing gear would fail as well. It's amazing. So uh, at the time, he released a statement completely lying about what happened. It was the most beautiful landing. <laughs> it was the most beautiful landing you've ever seen. By the time it landed at the end, the front just touched very softly. Everybody got off, nobody was injured. They were shaken up, but they were fine. You know what would have been more beautiful? Landing gear. <laughs> that is land not beautiful, that is terrifying. It landed very softly. This is our country right here. It is Just like doing our best. We are relying on some very expert people, but Trump is on the name of it. But any, everyone who's working very hard to keep people safe are not Donald Trump. So there, oh. there were a number of issues with this airline company. And all of those issues had to do with um, Honestly, the same advice that he's giving Boeing. So let me give you the details. It was described as a mix of costly business missteps, a market decline, and rising fuel prices that led to the airline's collapse three years later. So for instance, he wanted all these fancy items that made the plane too heavy. For instance, marble sinks were too heavy on the airframe, where every inch is scrutinized to save space and weight. So faux marble was installed. Thick burgundy carpets made it difficult for flight attendants to move their beverage and food carts. Trump advised the attendants to push harder. Mm, good thought. So he wanted all these like expensive, fancy features. I mean, it was more decorative features in the plane that uh, were too expensive and more importantly, made the plane not non-functional, but didn't function in an optimal way. Right? Yeah, for a guy who cares so much about safety, he's making a lot of uh, modifications to the plane that have nothing to do with that oh. and actually get in the way of that, arguably. Let me give you some more details. Despite customer surveys touting on-time flights and consistent schedules as their main needs, Trump insisted on gold-plated fixtures, leather seats, and chrome buckles for flights that typically took less than an hour. Upgrades amounted to about $1 million for every plane, with each aging airframe worth only about $4 million. Trump offered at times times bewildering suggestions to save money elsewhere, such as reducing the cockpit crew from three to two, which wow. by the way was against FAA regulations. This is such a metaphor for the way he runs the country. The He wants to just quickly do whatever cosmetic changes that he can that are not deep at all, mm. that are literally, I mean, it's, it's even, it's the exterior. He just, or like the little interior, the finishes, put a gold here, some chrome there, instead of fixing the planes or investing in the infrastructure necessary to make it safe, 
to make it work. So it reminds me of people who flip houses. Only, exactly right. only the people who flip houses are able to pull a fast one on home buyers, and then they're out. They're out, right? You you just do you just spit on some tile, you put it up on the wall. Look at this beautiful new black uh, backsplash. But they don't do anything to improve the foundation of the home or the plumbing, things like that. And but they're able to like sell it, and then they're done with it, right? Whereas with Trump, it's his business. And he's doing all these ridiculous and costly cosmetic changes and, and doing nothing to improve the business model, which was devastatingly flawed, did nothing to do, nothing to improve the actual frame of the plane, did nothing to improve the safety of the plane. Trump's team estimated that they overpaid $65 million for the operation. And in the end, he had to sell it to US Air because he was about to go bankrupt. Well, we've discussed many times here the fact that he's not a uh, he's not a good businessman. He has uh, driven many of these businesses uh, right into ruin. And here was another one where, in essence, these competitors that he's supposed to be so good at competing against are waiting as he begins to lose altitude quite literally, and then he's got to sell. And it's, mm -hmm. it, you know, and they get it at a discount. Yeah. That last graphic, though. Can I read it? Yeah, yeah sorry. I, I, no, I, no, no, no. For sure. I mean, I, I think there's something very important in there. There is something important here, especially when you think about. Trump's finances. So US Air took over the operation and Trump was no longer responsible for some of the $245 million in loans left and 100 million of the 135 million that Trump personally guaranteed was forgiven. Just forgiven. This is this is socialism. so indicative. That's the, socialism. Yes, and this is so indicative of who Trump is. Right. It's in, his MO. His business dealings. This is why he was unable to secure loans in the United States because he kept going bankrupt. He wouldn't pay these loans back. And so he had to go to Deutsche Bank. And Deutsche right. Bank gave him a bunch of loans, which I'm sure they now regret. <laughs> but well, they, he stiffed a lot of bankers. And also, as you say, he's had to go overseas. And I think the trail of money goes to Russia. It also goes to the Saudis, clearly. Uh, so, yeah, mm -hmm. you're right. It, that he left them all wanting, he left them that kind of debt. Wow. Just the la I just want one small point to make. On that tweet, he's like, what do I know about branding? Maybe nothing. But if I were Boeing, I would fix the Boeing, Boeing 737 Max. That's his advice. Fix it. Yeah, you got to fix it. That's him. Just <gasps> fix it. Oh, add some great additional great features. What kind of, what yeah, like kind of suggestion Sinks? is that? Yeah. Just, you, you mean, mean make it better? The thing that's broken, make it better? Of course, you idiot. But the reality is, just quite seriously, Ugh. this plane is unsafe. That plane shouldn't fly ever again, and they should get it off of every airline all across the world. I mean, there are real lives at stake. That yes. plane is fatally flawed. Yes. Become a member so that you can watch Old School, because on Old School, I mentioned some of the weird problems that this plane and other Boeings have on the planes that are in the sky. So you should uh, become a member at tyt.com slash join for old school. Like what you see, click the subscribe button below and don't forget to ring the bell to never miss another video from the Young Turks.